Is there a communication gap between the state ministers and bureaucrats in uh, Nagaland? Well, this is the question that has been doing rounds after a COVID-positive patient was ferried to Twinsang along with others in as many as buses, even though the state cabinet in an emergency meeting had decided against any such move. And currently, one of the five positive cases, all of which have been returnees from Chennai, is in Twinsang district. And yesterday, the samples of 151 people who had returned from Chennai were collected at Kohiba. But before any of the test results came in, the returnees were sent off to Twinsang district in five buses. And a row kicked off over the sending off of the buses as an emergency meeting was convened by Chief Minister Nephew Rio, during which it was decided that returnees would be sent to respective districts only when their test results are out. And by the time the cabinet meeting was over, the buses had already travelled 47 kilometres till Seminu subdivision. And despite a supposed directive to recall the buses, a senior officer from the health department alleged decided against any such move and let the buses proceed. The buses reached the Sao Chang College Quarantine Centre at Twingsang at about 4.45 a.m. today. And while the COVID-19 positive person was shifted to the COVID hospital at Twingsang Hospital, the other people were kept at the Sao Chang College Quarantine Centre, which has since then been declared as a quarantine zone. And as per the reports, the patient is asymptomatic and is in stable condition. And it was later today morning that Nagaland Health Minister S. Pang New Form tweeted out the news in the public sphere and also clarified that one of the five positive patients is undergoing treatment at Twingsang District. And the incident has evoked sharp reactions from different groups and the Eastern Nagaland People's Organization termed the entire development as unfortunate. And Poor President Kekong Chim said even earlier the organization had appealed to Nagas living outside the state not to return unless it's unavoidable. He added that NPO had also appealed that all returnees should be tested and sent back to their respective districts only after the test results are confirmed. The ENPO has also demanded for a retesting of all the people who are in the quarantine centre at Twingsang for safety's sake. EMBO have been appealing to those people outside the state not to come back, if possible, until and unless it is very necessary. This appeal was made so that we all can be safe. But the government took the decision to bring them back they are our own brothers, we welcome them. However, going in this line, you see, we have been able, well, when they came back, we have built the government that all the regions should be tested, swap testing has to be done, and sent back to the respective district only after results are out. It could happen better if common or the department, I should say, have sent those returnees only after confirming whether he is or she is positive or negative. But making such a hasty decision and sending them back, I think it is unfortunate.